it's Uncle Laurie here with another shave. Today is Sunday, so we're doing a sample Sunday shave today. And the soap of choice comes from the Yachi or Yaki. Depends how you want to pronounce it. It's a no, what was it? Lemon, lime, and cedar wood. And it also has menthol in it. It's actually produced by uh, Master Soap Creations in South Africa. So I bought this because I thought that was the quickest way to uh, get a sample of Master Soap Creations, considering the uh, postal difficulties at the moment from uh, America. All right, um, the brush we're going to use for that is my Billy Goat brush, the Sunfire. So, spin that around so you can see it's a lovely rendition. Beautiful, and it's got pearl in the yellow here. I've got a, um, a Lansky knot in there, a Lansky Generation 5, 26 mil knot, which is very similar to a Umo Generation 5 knot. So I'll just put that in the Super Soaker, which is, this is my Super Soaker. Put it in there for a while, and we'll put some pre-shave on. Wet the face first. Go with the, the Verde Lassoon Soap again. Activated charcoal. I'll keep using this until it disappears. straight on. 
I'll leave the uh, ingredients just here. Followed by the, um, the scent profile. Like I said, it's made by Master Soap Creations. Got a nice cooling sensation already. Menthol lemon is dominating the scent at the moment. I don't smell a lot of the wood at the moment. Feels nice on the skin. Uh, looks pretty good. Lovely. Right, the razor of choice today is the EJ89 clone, which I picked up off Amazon for about $16 Australian. It's a nice razor for the price. I picked it up because of the nice blue handle. There's no overhang, no blade overhang. Oh, first pass. This is a very light razor, a bit like the King C Gillette. The blade I've got in there is a winner, Gillette winner from India, with a tenduka on the cover. Nice blades. Very well, very smooth, very slick soap. Lovely lemon menthol coming off. I give it a medium strength, just based on the menthol alone. So if you don't mind, mind a bit of menthol, this is a lovely soap. Nice and cool on the skin. This will be a good summer one. At the moment, the, <laughs> the weather is overcast, cloudy, misty. Beautiful, lovely feeling leather. The tips on this knot are very soft. Paint nicely. And it's got a quite a strong backbone. Probably you would call it about medium. Nice. 
and driven. <laughs> Alright, second pass. Yeah. Without worrying about the blade sticking out the end. growth. My hair doesn't grow very fast though. Currently, I would say this soap is as good as any. The uh, fabulous residual, slick, slick as slick. Protection as well. I'm just with the face skin. You might see some lines from my mask. Stop from shaving. My CPAP mask on a weary night. Some over here too. See a lot of this red redness in my skin has come from the mask. Lovely cooling effect from the menthol. I just put a bit of alum on my fingers. smell a cedar now. Yeah, lovely scented soap, but I like this one. nice to paint. Right, against the green. A bit of buffering, because this is a very mild razor. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank all my subscribers. All your support is very much appreciated. Uh, 
it's a non-commercial channel so I don't collect any money from YouTube and have no intention of in the future Very nice. I really like this soap. See, I'm just shaving off the residual there. Plenty of residual. Lovely soap. And it's pretty good value. Uh, I got it from AliExpress a little while back. The uh, little sample tubs, this is a an out, one ounce sample tub, cost uh, just under six dollars, which is pretty good, actually very good price. And a full tub of uh, 170 grams, I'd say about six ounces, I think. 170 grams cost about $30, so uh, it's really good value. I don't know why I paint the whole face, I'm only doing touch-ups. <laughs> I just enjoy the, the leather so much. <laughs> okay. Just along the jawline. Just doing a few J hooks here. I don't know whether you know that. Technique. Very nice, very smooth. And the soap is as good as it gets, I think. I get the same sort of performance from PAA CK6. And probably Kaizen as well. I haven't used Kaizen for a while, so I can't vouch for Kaizen. On the jawline again.
just try on this J-hook technique to see if I can clean up around this area here. Doing very well. Beautiful. Beautiful. I love the cooling effect. Ah, lovely. Yep. Lemon, lime, bit of cedar in the background. Lovely. Right, we'll rinse off. There's plenty of slickness on my skin there. The residual is really good. Right, we'll just put the alum on, see how we went. There's a few tingles. Yeah. Around the neck area. Just hope I don't get a later reaction. Maybe that J hooking was a bit much. See how that uh, pans out over the day. Over the next hour or so, will uh, indicate. Well, it's calmed down pretty quick, so maybe yeah, it should be all right. Wonderful. That's a wonderful shave. And we'll uh, go and have my shower now. Come back and do the post shave. See you shortly. Back from the shower, and the shave was lovely, absolutely lovely. There's no irritations left over after the shower. Very close shave. I'm going to call that a BBS. Yeah, it's a beautiful shave. Right, Dad. Uh, go over the post shave. Start with the witch hazel from TM Dickinson's. And it's got a bit of menthol in that. Oh, lovely. Beautiful. And we'll then put on the vanishing cream, the Lucky Tiger. Also mentholated, eucalyptus and menthol, a little bit more. Very smooth. That's a top shave. No weepers, creepers, maybe a slight irritation at the bottom here. I expect that to dissipate. Although on this side I've been having sort of an irritation for a couple of weeks now. Mm. 
It's not sore, just you know, like a funny irritation. Anyway. It's getting old, I suppose. Right, the final thing. Oh, well, before I do that, I'll do a quick follow up. So I'll let the vanishing cream soak in on the brush. The wonderful Billy Goat. I just get the Billy Goat symbol up the right way. Billy Goat symbol coin on the bottom. Just roll that around. Light a bit. Beautiful, beautiful brush. Love it. All right, and we went with the Yaki MSC soap. Oop, upside down. Lemon, lime, and uh, cedarwood with a bit of menthol. I will classify that as a tier one soap in my collection. That's a top soap. As good as um, anything else I have. All right, uh, the final ingredient is the lime sack from Pinard. Pinard lime sack. I don't know. Um, there, like that. The lime and the it's actually a EDT. Ah, lovely. The lemon lime we sent. There's no menthol in that one. All right, that's my shave of the day. Thank you for watching and we'll catch you on my next show which will be Wednesday with another Aussie soap. Cheers!